Hello and welcome to IT Army. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the image backup of your Windows operating system. Now, the reason I'm creating this video is because I have created a lot of videos where you are doing some critical changes at the partition level or the disk level. And if you do any mistake or things don't go as expected, you lose your data. So in this case, it's very critical before you are performing any disk level operations take the entire operating system level backup rather than performing those operations without taking the backup. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'll not be using any third party utility. I'll be using the Windows backup tool available out of the box in Windows operating system. So it's available in Windows 7, 8, 10 and 11. So you need to go to start button and type in backup settings. And you can see we have options for OneDrive backup or file history. I'll be going for the image backup. So it takes you to the control panel. On the left hand side, you're going to see we have create system image. So you can do the backup on the hard drive. This hard drive should be a separate physical hard drive, not a partition on the existing hard drive. So it will be creating an image backup. You can do it on DVDs, so definitely you'll need a bunch of DVDs and you can also do it on the network share so you can specify the location and the username and password for that network shared location. I'll be going with the hard drive, so click next. Okay, so here I have the list of, it's showing that I need 36 GB and I have the list of partitions that are mandatory if i have any data partition then it will be optional so if i right click the start button and go to disk management here you can see that i have the recovery partition the efi partition and the c drive and i have a second disk where i'll be doing the backup so if i shrink my volume to create a small partition as a data partition Okay, so now I will be creating a small partition of 100 megabytes. And now you will be able to see that there is unallocated space. Right click, new volume, next, 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 and you have a new volume created. So now if I go back, if I press cancel, if I go back and again go next, now you can see that it has discovered the newly created partition of 100 megabytes. Now it's optional whether you want to take the backup of your data partition or not. So I click next and click the start backup. Okay, so it's about to complete and it took around three minutes to complete the entire 36 gigabytes of OS backup. Now it's asking you for creating the system repair disk in case if you are not able to boot at all, you will be requiring repair disk. And in case if you have Windows installation media ready with you, so you don't need to have the repair disk. So I will click on no and click close button. You also have option you can come back anytime and create the system repair disk using this link. Okay, so sorry for bad video quality. I'm recording off screen because I'll be restarting into recovery mode. So before restarting, I'm going to show you that I have only one program installed on this machine. That's from TechSmith Camtasia Recorder. So I'll be formatting my C drive and I'll be restoring using the recovery image. So while restarting, press shift button and click restart to reboot into the recovery environment. In case you are not able to boot into the operating system, you need to use a Windows installation media or recovery disk to go to the recovery console. So over here we have to go with troubleshoot, click on advance and select command prompt. So it will be rebooting your PC into the command prompt and from the command prompt I will be formatting the C drive and then booting into the recovery environment to do the recovery. Okay, so before booting into the recovery environment, it's going to ask you credentials. I don't have any password, so I'm now on to the command prompt. Now over here, you can see that I will be using the DIR command to show you the content. So C drive is where operating system is installed. I will format C drive in quick mode. It's asking for the volume. My volume is Windows 10. And are you sure? Yes. And now it's formatting.
and now it's asking for the new volume I will type in win 10 and press enter key so your C drive is gone now I will be booting into the recovery console so close and continue to Windows 10 and now you can see that when it tries to restart from the C drive it doesn't find anything and it automatically boots into the recovery console so you can see it's showing preparing automatic repair it tries to automatically fix the boot issue but because the entire operating system has been wiped off so it will not be able to help us okay so finally it says that I couldn't repair so it's okay go ahead with the advanced option and now we get to the recovery console I want to troubleshoot okay so on the advanced options you are getting bunch of recovery options like startup repair in case you are not able to boot up it tries automatically repairing the boot partition other options are startup settings in case if you install some driver and that is not allowing you to boot into the windows you can go to safe mode and uninstall the driver we have system restore option to restore the operating system in case if you have messed up some system file we will be going ahead with more options and select system image recovery now it remembers my last backup that I have taken so I'll go ahead with the default settings and click next and now we have option for formatting and repartitioning the disk because we have just taken the system image backup not the data partitions so this option is grayed out we have option to install the drivers and going to advanced settings also I'll go ahead and click next and finish it's going to prompt you that whatever data you have that will be lost are you sure yes and now it's gonna take some time and I'll be back once this is done okay so it's about to finish and it took around only four minutes to restore the entire operating system I'm going to restart now and after restarting I'm going to show you that I didn't lose any data okay so I can see the username here IT Army and if I go to the start button and see the list of programs and you can see here that I have TechSmith Camtasia already installed so that's how it is that it just takes three to four minutes to take the image backup if you have hard disk it may be a little bit more but it's very important to back up your critical data so hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video